Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to be making install media for FreeBSD. So we're going to go ahead and insert a USB stick <coughs> into our computer. And when it pops up here, first thing we want to do is unmount this. So we're going to go to Menu, to Terminal in the search box, and hit the Terminal icon. Right now, the reason we want to unmount it is because if we don't, there's a higher chance that, that it will get corrupted as we copy the image over. So, we want to do sudo u mount slash media slash and then our username minus tman, and then if we just tab, it will auto complete. So, we want to unmount that, and that's the mount point for a USB stick. So, we're going to hit enter and type our user password. Now the stick is unmounted and we're ready to copy the image onto it. So I went out to freebsd.org um, and downloaded the IMG file to my downloads directory. So we'll go to CD, change directory, to downloads, and if we tab again, it'll autocomplete. If we LS to list the files, here is our memstick.img file. This is the file that we'll put on the USB stick to be able to boot off of to install FreeBSD. So we want to find out first what the USB is called so we know what to copy to. So we're going to do sudo fdisk l. This lists all the disks that Linux has detected. Now the output we're interested in is slash dev slash sdb right here. And we want to copy FreeBSD image here to the stick. So we're going to do sudo dd. Now dd takes input from a source from one side and outputs it to whatever we want it to. So either a disk, a USB drive, a file, and uh, vice versa. It can take that as a source and output that or take the other and do the opposite. So what we're going to do input file if equals, start spelling FreeBSD and hit enter, tab I mean, and then we get IMG. And our output file is dev sd slash sdb. Make sure it's the entire disk. So make sure it's dev sdb, not the partition of one on the disk. It's got to be the entire disk. So make sure as well, don't mix the output or input up. Because if I was to put dev SDA here, that would wipe out my entire hard drive. And that would not be good. So we're going to hit enter, and we'll go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you when this finishes. Alright, we're all finished copying. Now this is what a successful DD copy looks like. So this is how much data it copied. This is how long it took and the speed at which you copied. So, that is um, copying it onto it. And a few more tips. Make sure if you're installing it to a computer that you care about the information on, uh, really make sure to back that up because this will wipe all that information out. Uh, the, the best advice would be um, buy a spare PC off eBay so you have something to play with, play around with so you won't mess it up. But, um, um, the other thing is, if you get an input-output error with the dd command, uh, a few things to check. Make sure that you re-download the file, because the file can be corrupted. Okay. Check the USB stick, and also check the USB port by trying another USB stick in it. So, those are the main reasons why that, that can cause a input-output error. But with all of that, I'm Tyler with T-Tech. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.